Hello and welcome to this Mirror Now special. Joining us today is a very special guest, someone whom we all belovedly know as Lucky Ali. Maksud Mahmood Ali joining us today with his latest single that he's done with Eliza Botsa. Sir, many, yeah. many thanks for speaking to Mirror Now. Thank I you. want to ask you, first of all, in this day and age where we're all, you know, constantly on our phones, we're on our tabs, we're glued to our systems. You brought out this song which has a larger message. The video also was done very beautifully, we've seen. How close is this song to you? It's your first song entirely sung in English by you. How close is this song really to you? Well, actually it was not like that. The thing about this song was, I mean, this idea and uh, expression, the song itself was already prepared when they came. They had this idea and they kind of like said, what do you think about it? And uh, we also have this tradition of people being glued to their uh, virtuality. Mm -hmm. So um, the song that Evie, because Evie is a writes uh, yeah. very well um, and sings also very well and he's got a lovely deep voice. So uh, this was the song in Bob Stark, Uncle Bob we call him. He'd written the the project, so um, uh, and he's also Eddie's manager and mm -hmm. producer and mm -hmm. whatnot. So he's promoted this entire um, Limala Ali Eddie Botsa uh, project. So uh, this particular song, virtuality, uh, for me also it was a surprise when I saw it. It was like wow, uh, they're trying to uh, put forth a message of saying that. Uh, everybody is just so lost in, um, you know, the phone. We said if you go to places like uh, the Far East, you go to a, rail a railway station, you find people on their cell phones and just, you know, it's so impersonal. So I think this um, uh, song came out, whatever this uh, message that they promoted. Uh, I believe. Uh, there is a balance, you know, I mean, you do require some kind of technology because that's human yeah. progress. Uh, but to get dependent on that in place of what you, you know, you really need to be dependent upon. I mean, first of all, uh, gratefulness is the fact that we breathe air. We can't make air, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't make water. I mean, you can do it. Of course. But you'll never do it. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. so touch the ground and... Um, you know, get that feel of reality and um, stop being airheaded about mm, um, mm, uh, mm. Their, their message was very, very... Uh, mm. And I like the work that has happened and it's slow in between times and mm. so that's how the Limala project has been, you know, yeah. right from the beginning. Okay. It must have been quite challenging. We saw that, you know, it, the entire thing was shot in Ukraine. We saw the war that came in between. Well, I wasn't that. there. I wasn't still there. not <laughs> ended. So, uh, you know, of course, on the other side of things, was it quite challenging, though you weren't really there, of course, in person? You know, see, basically what artists do, like even, uh, for example, if I need a set of strings to be recorded, yeah, and I won't get that quality, say, in a studio in Bangalore, hmm. and I want real music to be played, so I know I'll get the Vienna Orchestra. I can hire them and give them the brief that this is how I want it, this is how you send me your ideas hmm. on the project. So I believe, and from my understanding, that this is one of those kind of projects because when you're doing creative, you do want to work yeah. with the, everything at uh, this hmm. thing. Hmm. Uh, and at that time, I think, um, I mean, nobody was in control of whatever was hmm. happening. Right. Uh, yeah, and that's my daughter. Okay. That's me. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> She's my source of distraction. No? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anyways, so um, yeah. So when uh, uh, the what do you call the conflict broke out, the work stopped. Okay. You know, because mm -hmm. everybody was kind of displaced. Uh, well, a strange thing that happened out there was um, um, the boys who were stuck in Sumi, okay. the children. I mean, our yeah. students. And yeah, so there was a nice connect that happened there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so I'm very, very happy about that. Um, so everything happens naturally, and it's always better when it's unplanned. You know, it's just yeah. like it just happens. So I mean, whatever happens, happens for mm -hmm. the best always. 
All right. Uh, you know, we do know, of course, the song must be very special to you. We've seen your daughter as well as Eli's daughter also, you know, playing a big part in the background vocals. So how much really does this song, you know, mean to you? Uh, when you say mean to me in the sense, I just express that, you know. I mean, it speaks about the time that we are in. Hmm. Hmm. Right. You understand? It just, it means the times, you know. I mean, if you, um, uh, to balance out your need for uh, or your craving for technology for mm -hmm. every single mm -hmm. thing that mm -hmm. you do and maybe go cook a meal yourself or instead of ordering it from outside and it's done for you or um, you, you know those kind yeah. of things yeah. I mean enjoy your progress but also uh, give respect and be grateful for the things that cause those progress uh, that kind of progress to take place you know so. right okay um, you know, I have to ask you, uh, we've always seen your shows have been packed to the brim, even till date. You know, every 90s kid, for that matter, uh, has grown up listening to your songs as well. I want to ask you, you know, what next, sir? We've been seeing you putting out some and amazing music, smashing hits coming out. Suppose. What next? No, I don't know what next. I want to travel, basically. Um, I want to travel uh, as much as I can. So... Um, that gives me a lot of um, a sense of, of belonging um, generally, you know, so it keeps me grounded. Um, and along in that traveling, I, also, I like meeting people and uh, uh, forming uh, new, what do you call, uh, ideas through musically or prayerfully or, you know, generally, it's just a growth, there's nothing like you planned. Mm -hmm. It's happened, you know, for us it's we enjoyed it. Yes. You cannot keep on hanging on to things. You understand? It's there. It's, it is what it is. So, but you have to, like, you know, move okay. on, and you know, uh, there are lots of other people behind you and working with you. You know, right. who need to be doing what they're doing. Okay, all right. And lastly, if I have to ask you, you know, we've always seen how, be it in live performance or otherwise, you're extremely passionate about the music that you know that you come out there and play. So, how important? Important is an audience for you. You know, even today you said, of course, that on your cards next is to travel a lot. You're going to be meeting a lot of people, also, of course. I'm sure. For any performance for you, how important is your audience? Every performance today? that we do, I mean, people have come to see us, honor us, and give us that to stay and sing our songs. So I look at it as a, a service of love. You know, I mean, from their side as well as what best I can do in terms of my standing in front of them and. Being as honest to my tracks that I, uh, our tracks, I would say, because mm. you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's everybody's involvement. It's all the musicians put their own energies into it. So there's much to um, uh, garner from that, get get from that. So when that happens and everybody is like kind of like harmonious and the public is connected, then it rains. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And are we expecting some more exciting stuff coming from the Ali Eli project? Ali Ali, yes. um, uh, it'll happen. I mean, now uh, Tasmia's and uh, Ellie's daughter's song is about to come out uh, at some point, mm -hmm. uh, in which we are also singing, lending our voices. But it's more of a um, uh, this project is more of a. Um, like an education of mm -hmm. sorts, you understand mm -hmm. what I mean? It's kind of like an old, old project. Mm -hmm. It is, it you is. Know? Because even the music is very grand and very, uh, and the connections are just uh, not the normal, um, general, yeah. you know. Anyway, it's been, alhamdulillah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And uh, there you had it, as candid as he could be. That was Lucky Ali, as we all you know, know him lovingly. And uh, here's, of course, you know, hoping to bring you a lot more content on these lines and hoping that, you know, Mr. Lucky Ali and all of the future projects that he does as well are met with the same resounding, roaring success that it has been over the years.